BCIT is a polytechnic institution. We have trades, vocational, apprenticeship, and we have um, technology students. And that last group is our, our biggest by far um, cohort. I think the BCIT mandate dictates uh, a lot of what we do. We are actively engaged with our users, the faculty uh, and staff and students. Um, but we also leverage technology uh, so that we can connect with our users anywhere, anytime. Because BCIT students uh, work mostly in project groups, they don't work individually, everything is the project. Um, so there's a huge demand for group study space, collaborative space. There is definitely a, st a tension between students who want a quiet, reflective space, which they expect in the library, but we happen to have uh, a love of uh, the hum of conversation in the library as well and collaborative spaces. So trying to find a balance, because both are legitimate. Both of those needs are ones that we have to meet, so we're trying to find that balance. But we, we have done some exciting things. Uh, we land iPads, for example, which uh, I don't think any other institutions do, and smartphones. So what can we do to make our services more flexible? And this brings in the optimization of the, of the virtual spaces. What can we deliver? virtually so that they don't physically have to attend. There's also a, a demand for longer operating hours. Um, the students want the library to be open 24-7, 365. So what we've done as a compromise there is that we, we don't have a staffed space open 24-7, 365, but we do have the APOD. In November of 2007, we experimented with uh, extended hours till 3 o'clock in the morning. We, had, we put together a, a cluster of spaces in the lower floor and with um, simply adding some closed circuit uh, cameras and a keypad, we created this pod and the A pod, which stands for extended hours pod, but we thought the A kind of gave it a Canadian flavor, um, suddenly uh, emerged. Then in May of 2009, we decided to go 24-7. Um, but still only for the September and January terms. And, and there was still more pressure for <laughs> opening hours. So we decided in June of this year to throw it open 24-7, 365. So it virtually never closes. Feedback from students has been extremely positive. Um, in all of the student surveys that we do, the APOD comes up as um, high on the importance and the satisfaction scales and means a lot to students who can't go home um, to work on projects. Uh, they can't crash at home and work at three o'clock in the morning and uh, they can do it here. Well, the APOD has become part of the BCIT vocabulary. I think it was in two terms, so like a quarter of a million students went through that space and some of them stay there all night. Yeah, we don't land sleeping bags at the circulation desk, but uh, we want people to go home and reconnect with their families occasionally. <laughs>